Ambition means to me having a vision that you can um, remain fixated on uh, to get you through all of the challenges that you face. So setting a goal and just being really clear and being able to hold on to that to that goal enough that it will um, yeah help you see past what you are challenged by from day to day. So are you ambitious? Oh yes, I always have. Yeah, definitely. I'm very clear about the goals that I want to achieve um, for my Fano and for our Fenua and for our Awa, yeah, for our community. Yep. And why do you think it this way? Has it always been like that for you, or uh, have I always been ambitious? For your yeah. Fano, for your Fenua. For yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah, I think probably the more that I found out about um, the state of affairs with um, the well-being of our people and the well-being of our land and, and our waters, um, the more that I felt I needed to get involved to achieve those ambitions, those those goals. Yeah, and the more and the more uh, clear. I became about my ambitions and goals once I figured out what was happening here. Yeah. And is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? <laughs> yeah, there's lots that would enable me, but um, a lot of it has to do with um, others. <laughs> so I'm often saying, you know, that I would lo really love to just do my art at home and. Um, look after our gardens and look at, you know, just grow things, but um, I'm consistently being in, uh, pulled into social justice struggles um, and always what we call putting out fires of injustice around the place, which inhibit me from achieving, I guess, my ambitions of being a stay-at-home artist and gardener. <laughs> yeah. So if the world was a fear, a better place... Uh... Yeah. 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 If if people would stop lighting these fires of injustice for us around us all the time. Yeah, somebody we, we have just every time I get a phone call that there's another meeting um from people that come up from Wellington, I just think, wow, um wonder if this is going to be that meeting where it's not somebody telling us about how giving us something new to worry about, you know? And they always are new things, a new fire that we have to keep an eye on or, or try to put out. And those things take time away from our dreams and our ambitions and our whānau.